And then James, you got all kinds of pictures last night of an unidentified object in the sky. And I have to admit, if I would have seen this, I would have been stumped. Yes, yeah, so, so people were freaking out last night, the ones that are willing to look up. Sometimes you got to look up. You're going to miss some stuff like this. So this was about uh, 7 o'clock last night, and uh, many people in Alabama took photographs of this. And this was seen all across the central and southern United States. And, of course, you got to think uh, maybe it's aliens or uh, what's going on here. But this was the SpaceX Falcon 9 mission last night. This was a spiral vapor trail from an orbital burn across the central U.S. for a satellite that was being put into orbit. This is the actual path of that after the launch earlier in the evening from Cape Canaveral. But again, that, that was probably, I'll give you this, you look up and you see that, that's uh, pretty creepy. But it was part of the SpaceX operation. So you've talked about this, Taylor. We've got a nasty winter storm here. The counties in pink, those are winter storm warnings. The counties in blue, those are winter storm watches. And notice those winter storm watches come all the way down to Memphis. The heaviest snow from this will likely be falling through parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, southern Michigan. Some spots in there might see a foot of snow. And on the southern flank of all of that, we've got a pretty good chance of freezing rain here. Some of the heaviest ice accumulation will likely be across northeast Arkansas in the northwest corner of Tennessee, western Kentucky, places like Paducah down toward Jackson, Tennessee. Memphis might see some icing, but for Alabama, it's going to be a rain event. Uh, the rain probably starts during the day tomorrow, off and on at times through Friday. For most spots around here, rain amounts around two inches seem likely. And we should note that the Storm Prediction Center has put up a marginal risk that's level one out of five for the southwestern corner of the state. Late Thursday and Thursday night, the storms there could produce gusty winds, but around here, no severe weather expected, just some good old fashioned rain. Taylor, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, James. And we'll be watching for the possibility that we see some minor flooding problems as we head towards Friday. Of course, make sure you're staying with us. Uh, ABC 3340 weather team for the latest details on that this morning. I mean, look how beautiful that is. This is the view this morning from our bald rock camera as the sun's coming up, revealing that nice clear sky. We've got some beautiful views here in Alabama. We've also got some chilly temperatures in some spots. 24 degrees in Gadsden, 28 in Powell City, Tuscaloosa sitting at 34, Clinton also at 34. But we're all going to warm nicely today. We end up feeling very spring like during the afternoon, mid and upper 60s under a sunny sky. During the later part of the day, we are going to add some more cloud cover ahead of our next weather maker. But if you have the chance, get outside and enjoy these really, really nice temperatures. Let's talk about that next weather maker. As James just showed you, major winter storm setting up anywhere from Texas to New York State. All of those boxes there are watches and warnings. And for us, it's going to be a rainmaker. We've got temperatures that are going to be too warm for us to see any wintry mischief, which we are thankful for. Moving through the day today, we're going to be in the 50s by 10 a.m. Clouds move in later by the late afternoon, early evening. That's when we are going to see a partly to mostly cloudy sky tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. We're already starting to see a few showers possible right along the Mississippi Alabama border, so our westernmost communities. That spreads eastward, uh, bringing rain generally north and west of Birmingham through the day tomorrow. That will increase in coverage, though, as we head towards the evening hours, and rain's really just going to be on and off from Wednesday all the way through Friday. This is lunchtime on Thursday. Look at those temperatures. We're talking upper 60s again, and then here comes the rain, heavy at times Thursday evening. In to Friday, that rain will start moving out of here and much colder air arrives. So we are going to get a big time cool down on the back edge of this system, but I'm not looking at any overlap in the moisture and the temperature drop. We are talking about 40s through the day on Friday into the weekend. We're going to keep some cloud cover and cool temperatures in the 50s. Does look like we could see some showers hanging with us on Sunday. All right, and here's a look at more local drive time.